welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna open here. It's a gorgeous day and I'm riding with some friends down in Smyrna. Mike Barone, Josh Crane, Kyle Lawrence, and myself. Gonna do a little fun play ride today and uh, I'm actually testing some suspension. Mike Barone has some new suspension under him from MR Unlimited. So he's testing today. Just gonna have some fun, enjoy this weather. It's mid-February, we're riding forward. Clicks on my suspension. Yeah, she's a little, <laughs> looks a little soft. As far as Once. mods go, are you guys allowed to mod as much, or is there certain rules on mods? No, you can mod. You you have to stay with the manufactured engine that the manufacturer frame is. But in like, the frame. In the frame. Other than that, you could put different air arms on it. And oh yeah. Yeah, but like his 250R was before all that production rule bullshit. Now we got production rules. So I want to race with <laughs> engine in my Renegade chassis. And I think I'm legally allowed to do it. It won't be torquey. No. Right? Corner sliding with Josh and it catches the this snow. This just feels like, like I'm riding on a friggin' pillow. Oh, ah. There's no suspension at all. It's done. Just taking a quick break with the boys. We did a, a quick lap around Mike's property. The weather's absolutely perfect today for a little bit of practice. The suspension settings I made to the front seem to be working well. Mm. My buddy Josh on the Polaris seems to be having a good time. Looks like everybody's getting fired up. We're gonna go for another hot lap around the property.
48 years old and ripping quads. 49 this year. 49. Barone just turned what? 46? Yesterday. Yesterday. Happy birthday. Thanks. I'm a whopping 43. Josh, where did you make it to? 42? 42. You know what we are, gentlemen? We're middle aged. No, we're past that. Way past that. 40 is middle aged. Golden. Don't tell me this is the golden years. <laughs> oh. Well, my buddy Josh on the. Uh, <laughs> on the Polaris clearing some sticks for us. We actually grew up together in Vermont riding dirt bikes together. And we, I think we started out our, um, our video careers together borrowing the high school video camera, which was, which was a, a VHS camcorder at the time. What was that, like 1997? It must've been 97. We were filming with a VHS camcorder and setting it to music on our dirt bikes. We thought we were Jeremy McGrath. I was such a Back then. Yeah, but if we had started the YouTube channel in the 90s, we'd be rich men today. Only if. Yeah. Instead, we're riding now old. We got old. Now we got yeah. old four wheelers. <laughs> sportsman out there with us but Josh is just doing this stuff for fun he's not a racer so go easy on that sportsman 850 he still had a good time that's what it's all about riding today was amazing conditions were actually pretty good the ground was frozen for most of it but then towards the end of our ride around noon the sun started to warm up that ground and it started to get a little mushy and we were getting sprayed with some mud so we actually called it after that but we did a training technique that I really liked that we picked up from 4e racing John Eckhart suggested this one. If you have more than three guys in a group, the leader goes out and does a lap. Everybody else follows, nobody passes. And then the leader moves to the back of the pack and the next guy in the row moves up to the front. He does a lap leading at his pace and so on and so forth. So we did three laps with three guys. Everybody took a turn leading a lap 
Uh, Josh just kind of hung out and watched on his sportsman, but the three renegades, we went out there and did some practice where we tried to pace off each other. So that was a real good training technique. I actually liked that because we figured out Barone was probably the quickest out of the three of us. So we put him on the last leg, on the last lap. He had to lead us to the finish and I honestly couldn't keep up with him. He was, uh, he was on. So it was a good training technique because we were with faster guys. You're exerting yourself and you're not always uh, just trying to make a pass or whatever. You're just trying to run the pace of the guy who's in front of you. So good technique. I appreciate 4E Racing for that one. It was awesome to have my buddy Josh come out for this one. I don't get to see him that much and I was doing the math. It's been 18 years since I rode with Josh, so very happy to have him come out. And as we talked a little bit on camera, he and I started filming back in the 90s with a VHS camcorder. And I would go home and put it to music and cut it up much like I do for these YouTube videos. And we were doing that in the 90s. If I had stuck with that, I'd probably have a much bigger channel today because it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun riding and filming with your buddies and you know, then sharing it with others. So as always, thank you so much for tuning in, subscribing, hitting the like button, sharing with your friends. And it's not just my channel. There's a lot of new channels out there too. Some of my buddies are doing their own channels. So I want you to do a search and try to find more ATV Woods racers who are posting their adventures on, on YouTube and like and subscribe to those accounts as well. It's, it's not just uh, me out here. There's other guys trying to share the love. So let's support everyone. As usual, I'll see you guys at the races. Thanks for watching.